coming to the first problem the graphs of y is equal to p of x are given in the figure below for some polynomials p of x find the number of zeros of p of x in each case let p of x be any polynomial the number of points that the graph of y is equal to p of x intersects the x axis are called zeros of the polynomial p of x so if we observe in the first case the graph y is equal to p of x does not intersect the x axis that means in the first graph we can say that number of zeros is equal to 0 since the graph y is equal to p of x does not intersect the x axis at any point and coming to the second case the graph y is equal to p of x intersects the x axis at one point which is this one therefore number of zeros of p of x in the second case is equal to 1 because the graph y is equal to p of x is intersecting the x axis at one point coming to the third graph the graph y is equal to p of x is intersecting the x axis at three points this is one point this is one and this is the another so by definition we can say that number of zeros of p of x is equal to 3 since the graph y is equal to p of x is intersecting the x axis at three points now coming to the fourth case the graph y is equal to p of x is intersecting the x axis at two points this is the one point and this is the another point therefore the number of zeros of y is equal to p of x is 2 as it is intersecting the x axis at two points and fifth case the graph y is equal to p of x is intersecting at x axis at this point this one this one and this one therefore we have four points at which y is equal to p of x intersects the x axis so we can conclude number of zeros of the polynomial p of x is equal to 4 coming to the sixth case the graph y is equal to p of x is intersecting the x axis this point this point and this point so the number of points at which the polynomial y is equal to p of x is intersecting the x axis are 3 so we can say that the number of zeros of the polynomial p of x is equal to 3 as it is intersecting the x axis at the three points